Hello guys and welcome to my Fedora 13 Goddard overview. Now a lot of you guys say that the uh, Fedora is just like Ubuntu. Blah. No, actually it's not. Because I had to play a lot with uh, Fedora before I really got it. You know what I mean? Um, so it's not at all like Ubuntu. You have to uh, get into it. So uh, yeah. Let's move on, go to applications and accessories. See all the normal stuff here calculator, Gnode, take screenshot, uh, passwords and encryption keys, stuff like that. Games, we have a few games uh, like Sudoku and Mind. So we'll move it on. Go to graphics and we'll have Shotwell Photo Manager and Simple Scan. Internet, we have Empathy, IM Client, of course, Firefox, and Pino, Twitter and Identity.ca Client, Remote Desktop Viewer, and BitTorrent Client. In Office, if you want more Office, I'll just show you uh, in a minute how to install the OpenOffice things. Okay, but we have Evolution Mail and Calendar and project man management in southern video got all the same stuff uh, but we got cheese as default so that's very cool uh, i just installed gtk and record my desktop to do this screencast but uh, also movie player and rhythm box and system tools we got a bug reporting tool Let's see, uh, SE, Linux, Troubleshooter, System Monitor, and Terminal. Let's go to System Monitor so you can see what I'm using. Uh, kernel, Linux Kernel 2.6.3, uh, Known 2.30, Memory 2GB, Intel R, Celeron CPU 2.13 GHz, not really important to this video but uh, yeah in places we got all our folders home folder desktop documents and so on so uh, until now it looks like Ubuntu but uh, really it's not in system we have preferences we have appearance uh, desktop effects Keyboard, monitors, mouse, stuff like that. Also, screensaver and sound. But if we go to appearance, see a theme here. We have the one that's called Fedora. That's the one I'm using. Have glider and glossy. A few themes to select. And backgrounds, we've got a few backgrounds as well. Okay, and we can choose fonts. Now, if you see, um, we don't have the. Uh, we can't change the look, uh, the effects like in uh, Ubuntu. So, close this and go to System Preferences, and right here we'll have Desktop Effects. So, if you click on that, we can select Standard, which is the one I'm using at the moment. Or we can select Compass 3D Accelerated Visually Appealing Desktop. Now if I select Compass, I won't do it right now. We can select the wobbly windows and the workspaces on a cube. Um, if we want to have more plugins, we can close that. And go to System Administration. And we have this Add Remove software. So this is like a... Uh, Ubuntu software sensor if you want to call it that also got firewall stuff like that let's see let's go to add remove software now if I type in open office it'll search and we'll get all this uh, open office uh, programs uh, let's see the open office for uh, Danish language pack uh, and so on 
database frontend for openoffice.org. You can also type in um, office writer and we'll get this PR office drawing application, presentation application, and editor application, application and word processor application. If we want to install Compass plugins, we can select go type in Compass and we'll get all this stuff right here. Really cool. Okay. So we can also select here on the side we have system servers. Let's see in Office if we press that. Have all these applications. I think there's about hundred. I'm not sure. Um, multimedia. Okay, Elsa. So pulls out your back end. Okay. So uh, this app remove software is really useful, just like Ubuntu software sensor. But now, I just, I just um, want to show you how to install the, for example, Adobe Flash on your Fedora. So what you do is go to adobe.com and select uh, this one .rpm for Linux. Select that one and agree and install now. Now you will get this open with package installer. This will only select package installer if you select the .rpm version. Otherwise it can't do anything. I think so but we'll press OK and right here it asks do you want do you want to install this file you click install type in your password and there you go so uh, really easy and we can go to uh, uh, YouTube and press play so that's cool and uh, another cool thing I like about this is uh, the sound. I don't know if you can hear. Let me try to adjust this. Let me see. When I turn up the volume. Okay, that's also like a cool little thing. So, um, a lot of cool features. Um, so uh, yeah, a little overview of Fedora 13 got out. So uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.